Good evening and thanks for joining us for this update from your coronavirus headquarters. I'm Mike Thompson. 5,300 people have tested positive now for COVID-19 in Wisconsin. 262 people have died from the virus. 2,300 people in the state have recovered. That's about 46% of all cases reported in the state. And there is a 32% increase in cases since this time last week and a 27% increase in the number of deaths. One new case is being reported in La Crosse County. That is the first new case in the county in two weeks. A new case also being reported in Trempolo County. Hundreds of protesters in Wisconsin gathered today at the state capitol in Madison. They were voicing their disapproval of the governor's decision to extend the stay-at-home order. They're also calling on the governor to reopen Wisconsin. Governor Evers' current order closing most non-essential businesses runs until May 26 now. Republicans are asking the state Supreme Court to block it and force the Department of Health Services to propose a new rule. Wisconsin's Chamber of Commerce is also calling for opening all businesses three weeks earlier on May 4th. Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce is unveiling its back to business plan. The plan is designed to open Wisconsin businesses based on a number of risk factors. Companies would be given a risk factor of minimal, moderate or substantial and the higher the risk, the more precautions businesses would be required to take to avoid further spread of COVID-19. The nice thing about this model and the way that it is assesses risk is that if you do have sort of a flare up um, that happens in the future, um, the, 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 the model accounts for that and will increase the requirements. The plan was announced the same time Wisconsin's stay at home order was set to expire. In Minnesota, there are more than 2,900 infections with 221 deaths, but nearly 1,600 in the people, people in the state are no longer needing isolation or have recovered. The number of cases in the state is up 53% from Friday last week, and the number of deaths in the state has nearly doubled from a week ago. A new website is available to help Minnesotans find COVID-19 testing sites. 127 clinics and healthcare facilities are listed in the site. That includes testing locations in Winona and Rushford, as well as a location in Onalaska in Wisconsin. The information comes as Minnesota is working towards a goal of testing up to 20,000 people per day for the virus. Information is available on the state of Minnesota's COVID-19 website. There are now 64 cases in Winona County and in Iowa, there are 50 cases in Alamakee County and 11 in Winnesheek County. More than 4,400 people have tested positive in the state and at least 107 have died. 1,600 people though have recovered. There was a 90% increase in the number of cases in Iowa over the past week. One week ago today, there were 2,300 cases, nearly 1,400 cases two weeks ago, and then nearly 700 cases in the state just 21 days ago. The rate of deaths has dropped for the third straight week in the state. Thanks so much for joining us for this coronavirus update. We hope to see you tonight on News 8 Now at 10.